In this problem, you're pulling coins out of a bag, and there are 20 total. In this problem, you'll find that there are four different types of coins. There are pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. The only ones that can win you money are the nickels, dimes, and quarters. The nickel gets you $5, dime gives you 10, and the quarter gives you 25. The chance in the beginning says, what are your chances of winning any kind of prize? Well, the only one that's not going to win you money is the pennies. So that means 10 out of 20 are going to then win a prize for you. So 10 out of 20 reduces down to one half. Should be pretty easy to come up with that number eight there. Next, the chance of winning $25 two times in a row, we well, have to think about how to get $25. You have to pull a quarter out of the bag. Now, if you pull a quarter out of the bag, you have a, there, which in this case, there are two quarters out of the total 20. Two out of 20 reduces down to one tenth. So you have a one out of 10 chance of getting a $25 win. Now, if you get a one tenth chance of getting that first $25 to come out, and it says you're gonna put it back into the bag, well then that means you get your chances are the same again, so times one tenth. So you figure out what one tenth times one tenth is, and that's what your chances are, are going to be for pulling out a $25 winner two times in a row. Next, what is the expected value of the game? The expected value of a game is always found by just doing the money you can win. In this case, I can win $5, which then has five nickels out of the 20, or one fourth of the bag is nickels. Plus, I can also win uh, $10, and I'll do that $10 times the chance of that would be uh, the dimes. I have three dimes. Three, three dimes out of 20 is like this. And then I also have my money I could win for $25. And that $25 has a chance, like we just said earlier, a 1 in 10 chance of happening. So therefore, if I put all that together, I'll know what my game is worth. Okay? Then, if that value that I end up getting for this expected value of the game matches what I'm charging you, if this comes out, if this right here comes out to $2 and it costs $2 to play, then you'll say it's a fair game. Other than that, hopefully this helps. Good luck.